I'm Romero Jennings, Director of Makeup Artistry for MAC Cosmetics in New York. Here's my beautiful model, you do. And today, we're doing dewy skin. First, we're gonna start with getting really radiant skin by exfoliation. My favorite product is the Volcanic Ash Exfoliator from MAC. I use a MAC wipe and do a very light exfoliation just in the areas that you need it. I feel it's around the nostrils, the T-zone, top of the cheeks, and then rinse. The next step is a little bit of Fix Plus Spray that really is hydrating, but at the same time, will tighten the skin as it dries down. So next, we're gonna do a little bit of the Lightful Sea Moisturizer. It's a gel-based moisturizer. It's really light. The skin will have a tightness, but also hydration and a glow. And the next thing that we're gonna be doing is the Lightful Marine Bright Essence. Just a drop right on top of the cheeks, on the bridge of the nose, just on the areas that you really wanna sort of firm up, but hydrate. It gives this really beautiful glow from within. So the next step is the strobe cream. I'm gonna take my 109 brush, just tapping a little bit. So applying this on the chin, bridge of the nose, and temple. Strobing really is great for enhancing bone structure. You no longer have to contour. You can add light to have the face look more three-dimensional. What a beautiful glow. So for me, my favorite thing is called the Prep and Prime Skin Refine Zone. It's almost like a liquid powder for me. Basically, you're applying it where you did not strobe, just around the jawline and the temple. And instantly, you get this beautiful matte finish that happens, and it just makes that glow look even more 3D. So now that the skin is prepped, we're gonna start with Studio Water Weight Serum Foundation. This one really will hydrate the skin and look really, really natural. What I'm looking for is wherever there's any redness or imperfection, if the skin doesn't need coverage, don't do it. Less is more for everyone. Next, we're gonna do a little bit of Studio Finish Concealer. So I'm using a color that's a little bit more rosy because the foundation that we used was something that was more golden. Tap and diffuse. So next, we're gonna use a little bit of powder. The Care Blend just really mattifies the skin, but still looks fresh. We don't wanna powder the places that we highlighted with the strobe cream. So we're basically just gonna tap around the nostrils, the jawline, again, outer areas of the temple. So the next step is we're gonna curl your lashes. I'm gonna use first the large lash curler. So I like to go back in, and what's great about the half lash curler, you really have control. It's looking really cute already. The next step, the extended play mascara. Tap on the lid to stretch and brush upward. Separate. So I like doing mascara before doing shadow so that if you get any mascara onto the lids, it's easy to clean up. Take a Q-tip and a wipe. Just saturate the Q-tip with the solution from the wipe. Makes for a really easy cleanup. For some extra volume, we're going in with hot and naughty mascara. This is to really amp the lashes up. So just tipping everything. So because we're doing so much with the mascara, we're gonna keep the eyes super simple. We're gonna do Stormy Pink Paint Pot. So we're going really close to the lash line and then diffusing the color up and out. Taking the excess off, and from this point, you're gonna diffuse upward, stopping it before that halfway point. The trick with Paint Pot is that you have to work fast because it'll dry down, but once it dries, it stays in place. It will not crease. So you really get more of a stain, looks more believable, looks real. I really like the shape of your brows. We're just gonna enhance them a little bit and extend them slightly. And we're gonna use the big brow pencil crayon. Just creating the shape. We can extend just slightly, brushing upward. And I like to go in here and just lower the brow in the inner corner, which creates this really beautiful angle that happens. Go back with a little bit of my concealer brush just refine the edge. So at this point, because we've done very little powder, I'm just going back and giving you a little bit more where you see a little shine coming through. So right under the eyes. What's nice is that your skin looks like it's glowing, but it doesn't look greasy. So it's important to add matte as well as shine. Care Blends powder is fantastic for that. So next we're doing blush, and we're doing Peachy Keen on you. It has a really beautiful sort of peachy pink tone, but there's a shimmer at the same time. So the shimmer really adds more dimension to the glow. So now that I have placement right with the blush, I'm just gonna diffuse. Whatever's left on the brush, you can tap a little bit just into the hairline. It really pulls the eye upward. So next we're gonna do lips. So the 109 brush, 
a little bit of concealer just to neutralize the lip color so you can create any lip shape that you want. The next step is a little bit of the Prep and Prime Lip Primer. If you put this first, everything will stay in place. So we're using the Retro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. We're gonna mix the two colors so we get the perfect shade for your cheek color. And it'll go really well with your eyeshadow. It's a Retro Matte, so it really lasts for six to eight hours. With the skin being so dewy, you wanna have a lip that's not so shiny or glossy. Grab a little bit of concealer, we can make a really nice tracing just around that lip line. And then you blend the line out. This way you get a really sharp line without using a lip pencil. So let's go back and add a little bit more strobe cream and we're just gonna highlight those places that we did earlier. So right in the T-zone, the bridge of the nose, on the top of the cheeks, the chin, at the arch of the brow also. It really does capture the light. So a final tip is that you can actually take just a tissue and blot any excess oil without adding more product. Now I think you're ready to rule the world.